All right, so um, a good idea, I just realized, is to just finish this video and make that, uh, or finish this example, I guess, and then make this part of your homework to just finish this example. So that's what we're going to do. So like I was explaining in class, since we are trying to find the instantaneous rate of change of the slope changing um, at a certain point, that means all we have to do is plug that point in. So what I'm going to do first, and this was at the point 0, 3. So first I'm going to say that I'm taking dy dx and I'm evaluating it at 0, 3. And this is just a math notation that is kind of like, like in the past we've talked to f of x, and if you plugged in 3 you would say f of 3. That's kind of what this notation is. You're just telling someone what you're plugging in. So I'm going to plug 0 in for x and 3 in for y. And that is going to give me 3 on the top and 6 on the bottom, which means that dy dx is 1 half. So now what I can do is I can just walk through and plug 0 in for all the x's and plug 3 in for all the y's and plug 1 half in for dy dx. So I got negative 0 plus 2 times 3 times negative 2 plus 1 times 1 half minus negative 2 times 0 plus 3 minus 1 plus 2 times 1 half divided by negative 0 plus 2 times 3. Okay, so now we just have to simplify that. Can't find my notes. That's annoying. Okay, so we've got that 6 times negative 3 halves, or you could say negative 1.5, however you want to do that is fine, minus uh, 3 times, this is negative 1 plus 2 times 1 half is 1, so negative 1 plus 1 is 0, divided by 2 times 3 is 6. Well, you know what we missed? we got to go back and fix this. Well, I can't see it anyway. Um, we did low d high minus high d low, and we forgot to put the, this part underneath the neath Oh my gosh, underneath, there we go, was squared. So fix that, fix the squared. Did you catch that? Squared. Okay, so down here, this is negative zero plus two times three piece is being squared. That means we've got six squared on the bottom, which is actually 36. Okay, so six, multiplied by negative one and a half. I'm going to say that six divided by two is three. So two goes into two once, two goes into six three times. So three times negative three is negative nine on the top. And then we got the 36 on the bottom. And that is the rate of change of the rate of change. And I don't know what the units are, so I can't say it. So we're going to say that the, that the speed at which the slope is happening, the rate of change, is slowing down. The rate of change is slowing, becoming less.